What's up WWE Champions Universe, this is Lee from Champions Chat, and this is our free-to-play Heroes series. Are these free-to-play characters worth taking six-star gold? Because what if you don't have a, a better option, so to speak, or what if you just really like one of these characters? So we are going to take a look today at Kairi Sane Kabuki Warrior. Now, I will admit something. I actually didn't use this moveset with her as she was in her meta. This is uh, what I'll call the Merrick special. He kind of showed off this moveset, and it's pretty spicy, so we're going to give it a shot. The Interceptor, deal damage, choose 7 gems to make blue as a 6 MP yellow. 7 MP yellow, tilt whirl head scissors, deal damage, make 30 random gems into multis of strength 3. And then the 7 C's, finisher, deal damage, choose a 5 by 5 area to destroy. So, uh, that's a pretty good start. On our Entourage, we're going to need Kofi to start loaded turn one with our yellow moves. And then, uh, technically, you would actually want to use Braun Strowman Powerhouse, but since this is the free-to-play series, I'm not going to start there. I will include it in a moment. But this, moves that generate blue will create uh, four more, so we're choosing 14 to make blue. Zombie Gunther, as I've said in previous videos, he was available on the prize wall in that October series he was out uh, because of an oopsie. So, I am going considering him accessible to free to play if you don't have him you would substitute in someone who does multi damage blue gem damage or yellow gem damage then uh, zombie Dominic moves and blah 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 that create blue gems will create three more so now you've got 14 of those bad boys out there then one little trick with it this plate was available uh, so there's a chance you have it at least if you don't uh, forgive me it's the one trick on here for her. It's the strong style plate. Whenever you break three or more blue gems, get three yellow MP. So let's go take a look at her. Oh, and I didn't look at this, but this is the 50% gem damage strap with double fury two. So that, that way it keeps it in the realm of accessibility. Now we're going to face up against a six star bronze for this because the six star gold tours are not open yet and I'm um, having trouble finding somebody that I can battle against. So, we'll do it that way. Anyways, so we are not starting loaded turn one, but we're gonna swipe up. That would uh, get us there again with Brawn. You would be loaded turn one, and that is the trick. So, we are going to want to not put the random 30 down just yet, otherwise we are very much going to cascade. We do want to get to this right here, so we're going to choose this to make 14 gems into blue. As always, you can make a 5 and 3 match to get there, and since she did give us a smack, that actually does help us out a lot. So, 3 match there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 match there, and then for fun, you just want to fill out the board because once the multis do go blue, uh, you're going to see some damage. So boom, boom, there we go. Let's not cascade. Hooray. Boom and boom. Now, you throw out the multi gems. Bam, bam. There we go. Only times three. But you can do one of two things. You could hit the finisher and just choose a 5x5 five five area to destroy. Or, what I suggest, since you're reloaded already on here and blue gems are her highest color damage, you're going to want to do this right here and then just fill out the board with as much of this as you possibly can. Bam, bam, bam. That was 14 million reduced down to 12. So, as with our other free-to-play characters that we've tested so far, that one does not hit hard enough. Um, you're thinking at six-star gold, health pools are 60 to 75 million. So you really, really want to be hitting 30 million as a six-star gold at least. And that definitely was not that. However, I'm going to make it one tweak here, and then I may change out a move set just to try something else. Because honestly, I've not run her this way, and I didn't run her this way whenever it was time. So we're going to go to previous. 
We're going to throw Brawn in here, which I know breaks the free-to-play mold, and I get that. Don't worry, we're still there. And uh, so now we've got kind of the setup that Merrick's used. It's only increasing by one, but since Braun was a chase character, that means that a portion of the community was able to access her, uh, him, that is. So now we're starting loaded turn one. So now we can do this and just begin right off rip with the choose 10 which if you can do something like that, that would get you yellows, uh, that would be awesome. So I'm gonna do it, uh, nope, I can't. I can't, I can't do it there. I was gonna try and do it so that this yellow on the bottom drops down, this one here, but I can't do that. So we're just gonna have to hope that we get that one. And then, let's see, if I break the whole row, see, I can't really do that. Let's hope we get that one. Yeah, this is, uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, missed it. All right, so again, we're, we're talking, we didn't even drain the health on a six-star bronze. So maybe I'm doing something wrong with this move set. Yes, I can swap in a few more plates, but then we continually get further and further away from the free-to-play side of things. So I'm going to run one other move set with her. Disadvantage of doing these like this is I'm going to have to run the move set and uh, set it up while we're going here. And since I'm not editing these videos to get as many of them done as I can, and yes, that is the that is the impetus behind that. So we're going to check out her triple green. So we want this one here. We want this one here. And we want this one. Actually, we wanted... No, that's right. Okay. So this would be uh, upside down from the way I normally build them. I would suggest the sliding D on the bottom. But either way, sliding D, 6 MP green move, deal damage, make the middle row into snowfall blue, and then make four random snowfall into pyro blue. It's a fun mechanic. And then deal damage, choose a 4x3 area to make into multi-gems of strength 6. Now we're doing better there. And then deal damage, choose a 7x1 area to swap into green. So all of them are 6 MP, so we will need to go ahead and put Mr. George the Animal Steel on here. And by the way, uh, if I didn't mention it before, I think I might have, but it bears saying again, it took me six years into this game to realize that the reason he is the green MP trainer is because his tongue was always green. That's it. And I just find that very fun. Just very, very fun. So now you could use uh, Matt Hardy right here. Uh, you could use the... No, you wouldn't want to use green gems. So what we want is... Uh, let's see. Who is green? Gem modifier will help us here. Who's green plus multi? So Shinsuke, we're not using Sherry. We're not using Mem. Or, I mean, uh, Nation of Domination. Let's see, black subs, X-Pac, multi and green sub, but that's not what we want. Pyro gems and multiply do 100% more. That might be a, a good shout right there. Blue gems is what we're wanting. Well, not, yeah, blue gems 50. And yeah, if we use solo, then we've got a, a, a problem on our hands, but that's a little unrealistic. So... Blue, move, start with two and strength by one. Multi-gems generated will increase their strength by one, but she makes an area, so you can't use Mosh, which is unfortunate. And then it thinks there's nothing else, huh? All right, well, fair play. Uh, we're going to have to use Matt Hardy because, my goodness, that is uh, very restrictive on this category, having Solo be the one that you would need. Or if you wanted to, you know, the, the gem damage would actually scale at six gold if you were to use percentage trainers. So if you have the blue gems do 50% guys on here, you might actually even do a lot better. So we're not going to use Indy again. This is very restrictive for those guys. Uh, not going to use Ghostbuster Roman. Not going to use that 50% right there. Let's see what we can find. Blue gems do 35. That would actually be better than 18K. So that would be nice. 
Uh, multi gems do 38% more damage and create one more. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. Blue moves that destroy. Blue gems do 45. Let's just do let's just do it right here with edge. Uh, and then we do want our multi there, and we don't want Dom. We want somebody else here. So Santa Hogan, Pyro, ah, create one more Pyro. That would work nicely. Blue gems do 20%. So let's go back to gem damage because 30% is now better than, uh, oh, we've already got, Zombie Gunther's our 30% guy though. Hold on. I told you this part was going to take a little bit longer than I hoped, but it's actually a good process for you to see as you're working through your trainers and going, who who does this? Who does that? What What happens? How does this work? So that's how we're going to run this. So now we've got... George the Animal Steel, we've got 35, 45% uh, more blue gem damage here, 30% more blue damage in 60 multi, plus 30% and create more blue gems, which doesn't benefit anything. And I know, again, that is actually breaking a ways away from the idea of this being free to play. However, it is what it is what it is, so that you can see kind of how she does. Um, for the plates here, since she's going green into blues, you can do this one to increase yellow, but that doesn't really do much. I'm actually looking for a different plate here real quick. And I'm not seeing, she's not doing subs. Okay, ah, that was right. This one is countdown gems. So we'll just leave, uh, we'll leave that and leave off the plates and see how she does with a more kind of beefed up move set. See if we can get her to get her to dominate something here. All right, we did not start loaded turn one without Santa Hogan, but as I've mentioned in other videos, I'm not putting Santa Hogan on there because the Candy Store account has six gold Santa Hogan, and talk about breaking free to play, that is breaking and game breaking for that. So we are going to want to put an area here, and we get to choose it. So you want to see where are my pyro and where are my other gems go. This actually had a kind of a bad spread, so if I put it like, uh, whoops, sorry. If I put it right here, I'm only getting two, and then the snowfall are dropping down. If I do it here, I'm only doing two, and then the, the pyros are rising up. So kind of no matter what, I'm only getting two out of them. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put it there for right now. And then this will flawlessly reload, which I love. This is a great, great fun move set. Bam, 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 and 19 million. So that is my preferred build. I know Merricks did better with that other move set. I did not. It is what it is. So the question asked, uh, being asked is, should you take Kyrie Kabuki Warrior Acro to six-star gold? And once again, this comes very, very consistently to the answer of at six-star gold as a free B tier from the previous meta era, she's not going to hold up as well. Zombie Dom, still the only one that I've seen that absolutely holds up beyond a shadow of a doubt. And even then you need Zombie Ray, which you know is a little bit less than free to play in that regards. So 20 million at six star gold would take at least three turns, three cycles to get through um, because you're talking 60 plus million health. So not a bad option there, but again, you do need to have a couple tricks like Zombie Gunther and uh, you know somebody who can really buff out those, those multi-gems. So yes, she is worth taking to six-star gold. However, if you got Acro Rhea, she is one billion percent the better option. And if you've got some of the other, you know, more recent Females, even like Zombie uh, Becky or, you know, some of the ones that have come out since, you're, you're not really going to prioritize Kabuki Warrior over that. However, free to play, she is still a good option for you. All right, that's it for this one. A little bit longer than the other ones because of uh, having to click around to get her moveset loaded out. But I wanted you to see both options and what they do. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Did I run the first moveset wrong? Let me know. I'm willing to be wrong and have you help correct the community because we're here to see people grow in this game. That's the focus. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>